Hi, I'm Jared Hillam. Several years ago, I released a video titled, What is Business Intelligence? While this was released long ago, it still applies to the market today, but there is a category mentioned in the video that I called micro decisions, which really has taken off over the years. The market often calls this self-service BI. The focus of these vendors that provide self-service BI is to enable business users to make impromptu decisions from data, even though that data might not formally be available from sanctioned IT reporting systems. Now, this often meant that the users of these systems worked more like rogue data consumers rather than winning the Good Corporate Citizen Award. However, because they were able to produce answers for the executives, they soon became seen as heroes, which made the slow IT team kind of look bad. Now, these self-service BI vendors approach the hairball of data integration with assumptive associations. So, for example, if you have a source of data that has a date-time column, it will automatically associate that column with the date-time of another source of data. Now, was it possible that an incorrect association could be made? Sure it was. But the association didn't happen in a black box and the process could be guided. So the vendor's depth in this kind of automatic association is really what separates the men from the boys. And it's also a key factor in being able to gradually bridge that rogue analyst into a corporate visionary. Now, Tricity has an approach for guiding these micro decision platform deployments for larger corporations that want to take advantage of this rapid prototyping capacity while broadening the reach of the data integrations into non-proprietary avenues like a corporate data warehouse. The first reaction that somebody from a strictly self-service BI world is, well, why would you need to take the data out of the proprietary self-service system? Here's a few reasons. We'll start with one. In a large corporation, there are often multiple business intelligence tools which are feeding the business information. Lots of man hours have been put into those platforms and it represents a significant investment. Now, while it might sound feasible to just rip and replace their current BI technologies, and notice that's a plural, technologies, that often is easier said than done when you have ingrained corporate cultures and multiple departments across multiple time zones. Number two, integrated data is often used to drive other processes that are not solely committed to analytics. Sometimes this is data coming from an operational data store or a data lake, which is ultimately justified and budgeted for by feeding that data into a data warehouse. Leveraging a data warehousing effort to acquire data for other operational efforts is a very common occurrence and it frees up transactional systems from getting hit hard with requests. This activity simply cannot be done by routing all the data requests directly through a BI tool. That would be far too expensive from a licensing perspective and far too proprietary to enable multiple endpoints and applications. So the way Intricity accomplishes this is that we run a parallel engagement, which is able to deliver self-service BI while using the prototyping advantages of these platforms to model and iterate a persistent data warehouse that the rest of the corporation can take advantage of. This also ensures that the data warehouse is delivering the information that will benefit the users. Now, there's a lot of discussion to have here, and I recommend you reach out to Intricity and talk with one of our specialists. We can help you bridge your rogue self-service BI and the rest of your organization's deployments into a data sharing strategy that everybody benefits from. If you're the rogue analyst within your organization, check out this white paper that goes into greater detail about associative modeling.